There's something that the internet needed, but never got in this lifetime especially. And that's common sense. My mom doesn't love me. And the thumbnail is a girl starving in there. Probably should call social services on this, but hey, why not make an animation on it instead? Apparently it's something pretty terrible, so I, I would like to take a look at it. It's okay to hate your parents. It really is. Since I was eight years old, my mom forced me to go around our neighborhood and ask if I could do any of their house chores, like scrubbing floors or mowing the lawn to earn some money. But what monster sends their 10-year-old daughter alone into the houses of strangers? And second, all the money I earned, my mom took away from me again. Okay, so, yeah, it was a very creepy thing to do, to go to random people's houses. Of course, that's not a good thing for a parent to do for a young teenage girl if you live in a very psychopathic neighborhood that's what it kind of seems like her pushing you to go out and get a job whenever you're available to he wants you to be prepared for the world it's kind of hard to really side with either one of them it was bad for the lady to send her daughter over to the creeps house and it was bad for the girl to say yeah that that's part of growing up kid i'm sorry i don't know exactly what her mom was thinking of maybe she's that crazy mom that's just like yes exploit my child for money I really think that there's an underlying reason for why she was keeping the money. We don't know much of the backstory yet, but we'll see. I cleaned her whole house once every month, but one time, her front door was open, which was strange. I entered and said, hello? I'm upstairs. Please help me. Her voice was coming from the bedroom, so I went there. She was laying on her bed and looked distressed. Someone is under my bed. A man came into the room and crawled under my bed. I tried to stand up, but he always grabs my leg until it hurts so much that I have to lay back down. Oh, okay, okay. I, I want to know. I want to know. What is she going to do in this situation? Are you going to call the police and have them get this crazy lunatic out of the house? Or are you going to try to save the lady and run away? Or are you going to try and apprehend the man yourself? Let, let, let's see, let, let's see what she does. ...at her ankle and saw that it was covered in bruises, as if the hand of a strong man had grabbed it with all of its strength. It was so creepy, I freaked out and ran outside screaming. When I got back home, my mom asked, Why aren't you working? There's a man hiding under the old woman's bed. My mom didn't care and said, You either come back with your salary or you'll sleep on the street tonight. It was winter and I... Okay, so everything that I just said was completely wrong. She was just like, There is a creepy man under your bed and he's been grabbing at your legs and he's been throwing you around tossing you around bye in a warm place to sleep so i did go back into the old woman's house but instead of cleaning it i just stole some money out of her wallet the uh, wait what 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 the are you serious instead of helping the lady instead of calling the police to help the lady you steal money out of her purse to give to your mom. You're stealing money from an old lady to give to your mom who is a bitch. What? But this time I could sense a foul smell coming from inside and nobody opened the door when I knocked. I told my mom about it and she said, the old woman is dead. We can rob her house. Well, that's oh, what Oh dear lord. Far away from the old woman's bedroom. Well, hey, at least they're wearing masks. I mean, that, that, that's that's the best thing out of this whole scenario is that they're actually wearing a mask. Great job. At least people are learning. That means this happened recently. Did anyone hear about this on the news? Like, come on. By now, you probably have an idea how reckless my mom was. She also knew someone working at a blood donation center. So once every two months, she sends me over there to have my blood drawn. In return, I was paid $50, which of course I had to give to my mom. It's completely illegal for young kids to donate blood, by the way. Oh, and if you wonder why I helped my mom rob the old woman's house, it's because I was a child. Had I refused, my mom would have punished me so badly. You literally look the exact same. It's like this literally just happened, and you were just like, Yeah, I did it, but I was a child five minutes ago. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't be held responsible for this. Her favorite punishment was to make me move into the garage for a few days. There I would have no blanket or heating and it got so cold during winter that I either had to exercise throughout the night to keep myself warm or suffer severe hypothermia. I'm I'm sorry, I'm, but this is what she was doing. What kind of exercise is that? Would you like to donate your fat stacks of cash to a good charity? Click the link in the description to go to my Movember page.
All proceeds go toward the benefit of men's health. But if you can't donate, grow a mustache. As you can see, I've been fertilizing mine. Donate to Movember. When I came to school with a bald head, the teacher asked, What had happened? Oh, my mom cut off my hair to sell it. To me, that explanation made perfect sense. I thought that all mothers use their daughters to make money, but my teacher seemed disturbed by my response and invited my mom into school. How selfish are you to sell your own daughter's hair? Well, my mom is a professional liar and responded, It's true. I did sell my daughter's hair. But only because we couldn't afford the heating in our house anymore and it was so cold. I would have sold my own hair, but it's too short. My mom started crying, and my teacher felt so bad for her that she said, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you be okay if I paid for your heating for the rest of this winter? Of course my mom Oh my god, are you serious? Ladies, just like, I won't even second guess it. it well, it, the conversation could have went completely different. If this was real. How dare you steal your daughter's hair? I couldn't pay our heating. Don't even think twice. Oh my god, I'm gonna pay for all of the heating in your house. Are you stupid? She said, you have cancer. What, mom? You have cancer, and we need donations to pay for your medical bills. That's how my mom's biggest scam to date started. First, she forbid me from eating anything other than salad. She claimed that salad was healthier than other food, but I know she only did it so I got skinnier and looked more like a sick cancer patient. Then, she made me walk around the neighborhood with my bald head, so neighbors would ask me what's wrong. I have cancer and I'm doing chemotherapy. I had to respond, Oh no, you poor little thing. Then I would tell them how my treatment cost so much money that my mom couldn't even afford groceries anymore. Soon our whole neighborhood got together to help me and donated $50,000 to my mom. Am I the only one who thinks it's a little bit messed up that she was just like patting her bald head? Just like, yes, yes, my little bad one, yes people when she took me to the house of one of her clients and said the woman that lives here told me she had inherited $75,000 from her aunt she has that money laying around in cash somewhere in this you need to find it what if she wakes up my mom pulled out a crowbar and said don't worry I will take care of her then but I don't her mom her looks her. clinically insane we'll sleep in the garage again that was the moment when for the first time in my life I defied my mom's order no, I will no longer help you commit crimes. If you no, I will not help you commit crimes. No more. We have messed up people's lives for long enough. I got messed up and I could have told you no and I could have told the police. But I will say enough is enough, mother. Never again will you cut the strand of hair off my head to feed your i don't know what kind of addiction does she have she she has to be on something you you, you gotta admit this this mom is on some sort of drug i don't, I don't care what any of y'all say she's on drugs like that that's all there is to it because if, if they still don't have enough money to heat their house then it, it's going to cocaine i mean let's get real if you threaten me once more i will call the police and tell them that you force me to pretend i have cancer to get donations <laughs> after all the shit, the cancer and breaking into this person's house is too much. Now I'm gonna call the police. Good job. Good job. Citizen of the year right here. Now, mom, after you committed all these crimes and we've had money so I could get whatever I want but still sleep in the garage and lose my hair, now I'm gonna call the police. My mom's reaction was terrifying. A big grin appeared on her face as she said, you can't get away from me, I'm your mother. I noticed her hand sliding back into her back probably to pull out the crowbar and knock me out. In a split second, I turned around and ran away. My mom was crazy, but I had nowhere else to go but home. So I put a lock on the garage door to prevent my mother from entering and laid down to sleep. My mom, hours later, was singing out of joy, which meant that she had successfully broken into that house and stolen the money. She knocked on my door and said, I know you're in there, but you can only hide from me for so long. Then, to force me to come out, she used a garden hose and sprayed water under the door into the garage. Soon it was flooded, and because it was winter, I got cold very quick. Okay, Mom, I'm sorry for what I said to you earlier. I would never call the police on you. Please forgive me. Okay, I forgive you. You can come back out now. I won't hurt you. I wasn't sure if I could trust her, but I had no other option anyway and opened the door. How is the garage still flooded? What said to me tonight was very hurtful, but tomorrow you'll get another chance to prove that you are a good and loyal daughter.
I had no idea what she meant, but when I got home from school the next day, my mom was waiting for me with a razor in her hand. Hello, sweetie. Your cancer is back. Oh, God. She wanted me to pretend my cancer was back so she could rip off more people. But didn't you already steal enough money from the house you broke into last night? This is not about money. I want to see that you are still loyal to me. You have to prove yourself. Her mom looks clinically insane. And then, no, I, I won't call the police on you. I'd be like, bitch, just let me out of here. And then I'd take off and then I'd still call the police on her. Social services, where are you at? Pulled me towards her and forcefully shaved off my hair. I started crying when I saw it falling down in front of me because I knew it would take years to grow back again. And this time, my mom took things even further. She invited our extended family to our house and pulled off a grand show. I don't know what to do anymore. The medical bills are too high. I'm ashamed to ask for donations, but I have no choice. I have to do it for my daughter. The family donated $30,000 and a pickup truck to my mom. My uncle Fred said, I'm in debt myself and have no money to give you, but please take my pickup truck as a gift. I was moved to tears. My whole life, my mom had never once been kind to me. And now here were all these people I barely knew, spending their last dime to save me. I started crying and said, I don't have cancer. What? I don't have cancer. My mom and I are just scamming you. What are you talking about? I think you took too many meds, didn't you, my sweetie? Get away from me. It's all a scam. Please go home. My uncle was the first to raise his voice and screamed, I knew you didn't change. I don't care that you are my sister. You are dead to me. While they screamed at each other, I ran to the phone and called the police. And oh my god! It's about time! It took you so long! You could have done this in the beginning! You just called the police! Me or my mom would hurt me. I told the cops everything, and they launched a two-week investigation that ended with my mom going to jail for charity fraud. In the meantime, I moved in with my uncle who treats me incredibly well. But I knew my mom was hiding the money she had stolen somewhere in her house. So after she went to prison, I broke into her house and searched every corner until I found the money in our air conditioner. I didn't want to be a thief, though, so I went to the house from which my mother had stolen the money. Hello? Hi, are you the person living here? Yes. Did someone steal from you a few months ago? Huh? No, I just moved in last month. Oh, so the previous owner moved out? No, it's tragic. The woman that lived here before got robbed, and the thief overwhelmed her with a crowbar. She was injured and brought to a hospital, but didn't make- Oh my god. So not only did her mom steal from this person, she also committed murder. How did she get away with it for so long? Keep her in prison. Oh my god, what had my mom done? I felt sick to my stomach and didn't ask any further questions. I've now decided to keep the money my mom stole and use it for my college one day. Well, I'm so glad that by the end of this video, you had the sense to come off and be like, Hey, this is bad. Don't do that. Stop it. Th this hurts my brain.